Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we have an amazing problem for you guys, right? It's called same tree, right? So it's a very good problem. So it says that given the root of two binary trees, P and Q, write a function to check if they are the same or not, right? Two binary trees are considered uh, the same if they are structurally identical and the nodes have the same value, okay? So you can see we're given uh, two trees, right? So right, that's the problem definition set, right? P and Q. And our job is to find if they're the same or not, right? You know, uh, so we, they're the same if they are, you know, uh, the structure of them are identical, right? And the values of the nodes are identical, right? So the it should be exactly the same as this one, right? Not reference-wise, but the value-wise and also the, the way it's organized, right? Structure of it as well, right? It should be the same. All the elements should be in the same positions, right? Everything should be identical just by looking at, at the, those, right? You know, pretty much like a, a example, like a copy of that one, right? So that's what you could see, right? So uh, we see we have one is at the top. Uh, we see this two is on the left side and three is on the right side, right? Everything looks in order. That's why we turn true here, guys, right? Uh, let's say we had the those were swapped, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have a two here and a one here then uh, this will be false right because it, it would not be identical because uh it's not an exact copy right you know uh, because uh the values are not at the right position so uh, the two would be here and the one would be here which is not the same case right there right that's why it will be false right so this example is a very good one right you can see that although we have the root is one right and the root has uh two as uh, a child right but uh it doesn't work because the this two is on the left side but this two on this on this uh tree is on the right side because therefore return false because it's not the same although the values are the same right but once we see that uh, we see that the two right uh so so the first tree's uh right child right the roots right child is null right but for this tree the roots uh right child is not null but it's left is null, right? So it's reverse. So we turn false, guys. Uh, another good example, right? You saw this example that I was referring to. Uh, we see we got one at the top, right? And we got two and one, right? So the one is on the wrong side, right? The one should have been, right? Uh, on the right side, right? So it could be identical to this one. These two should have been on the left side. So it could be identical, right? So that's kind of, uh, we turn false here, right? So that, that's kind of what we, Need to check, right? You know, make sure that the tree are exactly the same, identical, right? Uh, an exact uh, replica, right? Not, you know. So how do we do that, right? You know, uh, we could start off, you know, with the most uh, intuitive solution, right? You know, so it's good to start with those, right? And uh, sometimes it, it the most intuitive solution is also the optimal solution, right? So let's see if we get lucky. So how can we solve this, guys? Right? Well, how can we solve this? So we get we're given two trees, okay? Two trees, okay? And we need to find if they're identical, okay? Uh, maybe we can start off by checking if the the roots, right? They're like uh, the same or not, right? So uh, yeah, I could do that, right? So if they're the same, right? then that's something good, right? I could uh, say, all right, at least this part is the same, right? Let's check my, the next thing for us to do, right? Let's check my children, right? You know, check my left and my right side, right? To see if they are uh, also the same, right? Because, you know, it can't be only part of the tree that's the same. Everything needs to be the same, right? So because of that, uh, we're going to check our left and right child, right? So we're going to go to the left side. We check, uh, we go at the left at the same time, right? That, that everything needs to be at the exact uh position, like you know, that's what we're, we're going for. When we go left on the right left side, we also go left on the other tree as well. When we go right on, on this tree, we also have to go right on that tree, right? So that we could keep it like you know, we could check it accordingly, right, and accurately, okay? So now I check my left sub, so one is gonna check its left sub tree, right. And we, and we pass it on the left, right? And then we pass it on the left here. And then we check, all oh, those two values the same. Uh, yes, they are the same. So, I, you know, I'm good on my part. This subtree is good, right? They're pretty much the same. And we turn true to this one. And then 
uh both tree goes to the right as well right to check if this three goes to this three yep it is right and return that right that's good right just like that that's how we'll be able to solve you guys there by uh you know for every node right you know uh, we're gonna check if the the two nodes that were passing are the two root node right you know uh are they the same right if they're the same then we check our left subtree and it, and we and we check our right subtree right and we keep checking the whole tree making sure nothing uh broke right if any any point where we get a mismatch right our uh, return false guys right and and because of that right uh this whole thing can be false guys right and this is the case here right we check the root node they're just real good all right gucci we go to the left right we see that uh, one of the values are null, right? So because of that, we return false, guy, right? Because it's not the same. They're not null at the same time. That's it needs to be null at the same time, right? Uh, for it to be considered a match, right? There, if, if it's one is null, then it's obviously not a match, right? Because uh, they're not identical. They're not an exact copy. I told you guys the value needs to be the same, uh, and also that the places that they're all at as well, right? The structure of it needs to be the same, right? Exactly the same, not kind of the same, but exactly the same, guy, right? You know? Um, so yeah, like that we're gonna solve it. So let's quickly go into the code. It's gonna be very very simple guys uh, So we're gonna do I told you guys we're gonna do a check here So if the the root so if P right Equals null right and the Q equals null right They're not at the same time then we can say that This part is the same right because they're not at the same time guys, right? Okay and let's say we get the case where only one of them is null, right? One of them is null only. We're going to essentially do, uh, so if P is null or Q is null, right? Because we already did that check here to check if both of them are null, right? So if, uh, so if only one of them is null, right? So if they, they're not both null, but one of them happens to be null, right? That's a bad case, right? You know, which are false. That's a case we do not want to get into, right? And after we do that, guys, we keep checking. Uh, we need to do one more check, right? What's the extra check that we're going to do? Is to check the, the node, right? The two nodes, that, the two root nodes that are passed in, right? You know what I'm saying? We need to make sure that our does the the same, right? All right. So we, how, how do we do that, right? So we're going to check like that. If uh, the p that val does not equal to q that val, right? Then we can say that you know they're not the same, right? Those two nodes aren't the same. Okay. The case that we saw that when we passed in, uh, let's say we check this side, right? We see that one and two, uh, my value this this node's value is one and this node's value is two, right? And then we know that they're not the same, right? Return false. All right, and after we do that, right, what's left for us to do, right? We need to check our left and our right side, right? That's what we're going to do here. Uh, a same tree, we're going to just copy that. So we're going to recursively check our left and right side, guys, right? That's what we're going to do here. Okay. I told you guys how we're going to do it, right? We're going to pass in our, our left side, right, to check our left subtree. And we're going to pass in our the, the right side as well, right? Make sure that literally the whole tree is exactly the same guy right okay uh yeah and then uh yeah she's just being done recursively pretty easy like that right we pass on the left side right they do the exact same checks right and making sure that the whole thing stays put right All right, awesome guys, we pass all the test cases, guys, right? So you guys understood the thought process and the logic that I just explained, let me know in the comment section, right? If you guys have any questions, let me know that in the comment section as well, right? Let's have a conversation. Right? If you have a better solution, you can talk about that as well, right? So I want to appreciate, I want to say thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you found value, give me a like. If you like it, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.